So I have my Azure order ready for you today. This month we spent $348.45 and a lot of our stuff this month is like big staple items that will last us for quite a while. So I'm excited to show you what I have, how I'm using them, and as always I will show you the prices and the price breakdown of price per pound. So yeah, here we go. First up, I have our potatoes, and this is a staple from Azure in our house. I ordered 10 of the five pound bags, and then I split it with my mom, so we both get five bags of the potatoes, and it ends up being $62.25 total, uh, but per bag, it's $6.22 for a five pound bag. And uh, they usually do come in a little bit wet. And so uh, I think actually the sweet potatoes are, that I got are also pretty wet. And so I need to, um, I think I'm gonna go take them out on our picnic table and let them air dry a bit before I put them away. So now to the sweet potatoes, I got a 20 pound box for 45.60, making it 228 per pound, which is a really good deal for sweet potatoes. I love Azure's sweet potatoes and I've never had a problem with them coming in um, off. They just definitely need to be dried out because they are pretty wet. So I usually always order my wheat berries from Azure. However, I did recently find a new company closer to us called Janie's Mill and they sell organic wheat berries and they actually have a huge variety, which I'm really excited about because Azure's is just like hard white or hard red or soft white, uh, which they have an amazing price on them. But there are some recipe books that I have uh, just purchased and they like are specific to the type like Warthog or I think one was like Red Fife or something like that. And Janie's actually sells it like that. So I bought these, but this is mainly for long-term storage. So I will be packaging this up in Mylar bags. First, I will put them in our chest freezer for probably like two weeks and then I will, uh, I explain this in our, our bulk food video about uh, having a bulk food pantry, but then I will uh, slowly <laughs> over the course of a few days, because this is a 50 pound bag, I will spread these out on cookie sheets just after they're obviously frozen um, and make sure that there's no condensation left on them before I package them into the Mylar bags. So this is the 50 pound bag for 67.27 at 134 a pound. Uh, if wheat prices keep going up like they are, I figured I might as well just get another 50 pound bag. I have a 50 pound bag of hard red wheat in the freezer currently, so I'm slowly trying to get all of that out before I put this one in there. So, and then I also got this 25 pound bag of cane sugar, which is 32.14, making it $1.28 per pound. And this I will also store in one of our big food grade buckets. And I didn't really get this for long-term storage. I got this because with it being canning season, it's really nice just to have an abundance of sugar and uh, we'll go through it eventually. So it's not gonna go off. And then I need to make my own ketchup, but I still don't have enough tomatoes growing for that. So I went ahead and ordered this Portlandia ketchup. This is my favorite brand of ketchup because it comes in a glass bottle. The ingredients are really, really good. And it's 11.27 for three bottles, and so that makes it 3.76 per bottle, which is a really good price on ketchup that comes in a glass bottle. So once we get our tomatoes in, hopefully I'll be able to start making my own ketchup. And then finally, I was able to get a hold of some chocolate chips. These are my favorite chocolate chips. I love them from Azure. I actually like the bigger ones better, but the bigger ones were out of stock. So I was like, I might as well get the smaller ones because no other chocolate chip compares to this brand, the Azure Market brand. And uh, it ends up being $6.86 per pound. It's $34.31 for the five pound bag. And they are just so, so delicious. Okay, and now we're on to our cold stuff. So this one is a bit interesting. I have never ordered, I don't think I've ordered the Sierra Nevada raw cheddar before, but I did this month and I actually have it pulled up on my laptop because it's a little bit confusing. Okay, this part, I thought it would be easier if I just talked into the camera, but basically on the website, it says if you order two five pound blocks, 
they should be 68.25 at 758 per pound. So that is what I ordered. And then when my uh, order form came in, like that everything that I ordered was coming, it ended up being 80.38, not the 68. So about $14 more for these. And I actually, the one <laughs> you can see I've already opened for our lunch today, but I weighed the other one that's not opened it is, and it's only one ounce over. So um, I'm not really sure why it was that much more expensive. I mean, I will say it is really good quality. I made a grilled cheese for lunch and it was delicious. And the reason I got this brand was because it is raw cheddar and it's also um, been grass fed for the most part. So if you look on their website, it's not... Uh, 100% grass-fed cows, but it's from 70% of their diet is grass and they have been like humanly raised. And so there is no soy or anything in their their feed, which uh, if this is the reason I don't buy the raw cheese is because if you look at the details, it says that there's like no guarantee that they haven't been fed GMO feed. And I'm like, if the cow is being fed like GMO corn, then I'm eating the milk from that cow that is going through my system. Whereas this, it says besides the 75% grass that it eats, the rest of it is made up of non-GMO grains. So I'm happy for that last 30%. Obviously, 100% grass fed would be amazing, but I'm also not going to be paying $40 for five pounds of cheese if that were the case, it would be a whole lot more than that. So that's just something to consider if you think about buying that. It might not be the price that it shows up as that you think you're ordering. And again, I'm happy to pay that. This will last us a while. You can see that the way I'm storing it is I opened it and then I put this beeswax wrap around it and that will keep this block totally fine. And then sometimes to, if I wanna make sure that it preserves longer, I'll shred this up and freeze some of it and same with this one but the last time i bought the two chunks was the rumiano brand and i actually do not recommend that brand um it, they're organic but i tried making beer cheese with it and they the cheese would not melt like it stayed together it would not mix with the milk with the beer it was a disaster and i think that they must put something in that cheese that makes it so it doesn't melt yeah eighty dollars basically for the, the two blocks and then i also got this this was 672 it's the a2a2 organic heavy whipping cream i have never ordered cream from them before but i figured i would give it a try because we're not doing our herd share anymore we're just getting our milk directly from the amish and they don't have cream so i just thought i would give this one a try and then i also got four this is currently thawing and we drank some of it but i got four gallons of azure's uh freshly juiced well in the fall it was fresh juiced apple juice that they immediately froze and it's organic and it is really tasty so one of the main reasons why i wanted to get this apple juice is because i love having like fun drinks in the summer and in South Africa, they make uh, this apple juice with rooibos tea and rooibos is like the tea of South Africa. And I wanted to remake that here. So I ended up making that for Scott and I, and it's basically just rooibos tea that I made and sat and infused in a mug for a while. I do the loose leaf rooibos. And then um, not in a ton of water, just like um, that much water. <laughs> and then I have ice with the uh, apple juice and like the apple juice makes it sweet. It's a really good way. Like ap this apple juice is very sweet. It's delicious, but with the rooibos, it kind of like tones it down. So it's not as sweet. And there's so many health benefits to rooibos so much so that one of the things that Scott and I are so pumped about is we have connected with our favorite uh, place to get tea in South Africa. And we've contacted them about sourcing their tea and selling it here in America. And we are currently in the process of getting that whole thing going. I will be updating you as that all unfolds, but hopefully very soon we will be selling South African rooibos tea and you can make your own delicious uh, summer rooibos and apple juice 
drink. So I got four gallons of the apple juice frozen for $40. So they ended up being $10 a piece, but I think it's well worth it, especially the way that I'm like spacing it out. I'm not drinking just the apple juice. I'm drinking it with the rooibos. And something about rooibos is it is caffeine free. So pregnant women can have it. Children can have it. Little two-year-olds can have it. Uh, there's really, it's such a versatile drink and um, making it this way, you don't even need to add honey with it. So that is it from my Azure order this month. I hope that this has been inspiring and yeah, God bless.